All right, so here we are on the lower leg, starting with stomach 35. Stomach 35 is at the lower border of the patella in the depression lateral to the patellar ligament. So the name of stomach 35 is do be calf's nose. So this ligament makes the knee look like the nose of a cow. So we're going into the nostril on the lateral side. If we were to needle both of them, that would be an extra point called Xi'an. But for stomach 35, we're just going into the depression on the lateral side of the patellar ligament. And so what I'm actually feeling for here is the space between two bones. So with my finger here, above the finger is the femur, and below my finger is the tibia. So we're needling into the space between those two bones. So it might not seem like there's a lot of room here, but we can actually needle quite deeply, like one to two soon, because we're going into that empty space. So that's why we prop the knee up, usually with a pillow, and that gives us a slight bend in the knee, and that really opens up the space. So that's stomach 35. And now we're coming to the lower leg, and our measurement is popliteal crease to tip of the malleolus is 16 soon. Once we have that measurement, we can slide our fingers up onto the stomach channel. So it's like stomach 35 to stomach 41 is 16 soon. So when we do our measurements, it could be that your fingers aren't long enough to reach halfway. So what we can do is just go as far as you can, making sure that each side is equidistant. And you can just pick up your pinky fingers and move it in, and then find the halfway of the remainder. And that will give you the midpoint of your 16 soon. All right, so we're on the lower leg. Stomach 36 is three soon down from stomach 35, one finger breath from the crest of the tibia. Here we have our 16 soon. Half of 16 is eight. Here's eight soon. Half of eight is four. Here's four soon. Half of four is two. Halfway between two and four is three. And we're one finger breath from the crest of the tibia for stomach 36. Stomach 37 is three soon down from that or six soon down from stomach 35. So again, here's 16 soon. Halfway is eight. Here's eight, half of eight is four. Sorry, halfway between four and eight is six. One finger breath from the crest of the tibia is stomach 37. Stomach 38 is halfway for eight soon down. So we just have 16 soon. Cut it in half. Stomach 38 is eight soon down or halfway, one finger breath from the crest of the tibia. Stomach 39 is nine soon down. So here's 16 soon, halfway is eight. Halfway between eight and 16 is 12. Halfway between eight and 12 is 10. And then that gives us nine soon, one finger breath away for stomach 39. Stomach 40, we actually come back up to halfway. Just now, we're two finger breaths lateral to the crest of the tibia. So here we have stomach 36 is three soon down. Stomach 37 is three soon down from that. Stomach 39 is three soon down from that. Stomach 38 and stomach 40 are halfway. If anybody has any problems here, it's usually that they come too far lateral because they're palpating the muscle of tibialis anterior rather than the crest of the tibia, which is bone. So this is the tibia, make sure you're feeling for bone, and then you're coming one finger breath away from the bone. And that's stomach 35 through stomach 40. All right, after that, we're on the foot. Stomach 41 is at the midpoint of the transverse ankle crease, level with the tip of the lateral malleolus, between the tendons of extensor hallucis longus an extensor digitorum longus. So here on the foot, we should be able to palpate three tendons. This big one is the tendon of tibialis anterior that goes down to the side. We don't want that one. Right next to it is a smaller tendon, extensor hallucis longus. This is the one that goes to the big toe and flexes the big toe. And then lateral to that is extensor digitorum longus. This is the one that goes down and then it splits and goes to all four toes. So if you've ever wondered why you can't wiggle your little toes individually, it's because you have one tendon that uh, connects to all four toes. 
So we're going between the tendon of extensor hallucis longus and extensor digitorum longus for stomach 41. Again, we're roughly level with the tip of the lateral malleolus. And then this is right where the ankle bends. So it's kind of like we're at the LI5 of the foot. All right, so once we get to the foot, I think it's actually easier to go backwards. So stomach 45 is the Jing Well point. So it's on the second toe, 0.1 soon from the corner of the nail. We just have to make sure that we're on the lateral side of the second toe. Then stomach 44 is half as soon proximal to the web margin. And stomach 43 is one soon proximal to that. So if we bend the toes, we can see the, the knuckles of the toes, and stomach 44 and stomach 43 are on either side. So stomach 42 is kind of a weird one. Stomach 42 is in the depression formed by the second and third metatarsals and the second and third cuneiform bones. So one way can, we can feel for this is start between the second and third toes and palpate up until you feel the juncture where the second and third metatarsals come together, and then jump over it till you get to the other side of the base of the second and third metatarsals. And here you should be able to feel the pulse of the pedal artery. And that's stomach 42, and it's about halfway between stomach 41 and stomach 43. So here we have stomach 41, stomach 42, stomach 43, stomach 44, and stomach 45. And that is the foot yang ming stomach channel.